Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sakshi Thakur and today we are going to discuss about Informatica MDM Customer 360 and Supplier 360 Charge Configuration with Data Mart. So, agenda for today's video is Introduction, Prerequisites, Configuration Overview, followed by a demo and references. So, Introduction. Informatica MDM 10.4 onwards support reports based on high chart configuration. Some of the reports are high chart components available in provisioning tool and some of the charts are external link based on high map. The data for the chart that are available as external links come from the data mart. Data mart is a Java based utility which helps in managing data and metadata to reports. The data mart services retrieve the data from operational reference store and stores the result in repository tables c repos rpt config and c repos rpt details when a home page loads the page queries the data mart service for the data and populates the charts prerequisites mdm installation should be completed as per pam ORS should be configured with supplier 360 or customer 360. Data should be populated inside BOs and BEs. Tasks should be configured properly to view task related charts. Configuration overview. To populate the charts that are available as external links, perform the following tasks. Import the chart configuration into a repository table, configure a database connection between the data mart and database that contains the operational reference store. Configure the report parameter to include the database name and then populate the data mart with the report data. So now let's start with the demo part. In today's demo, I will be configuring charts for C360 application. Similarly, you can configure it for S360 application. As discussed earlier, from MDM 10.4 onwards, we have chart components integrated with the provisioning tool itself. All the charts are part of library called high chart library. But C360 and S360 also provides high map where in UI, a user will be able to see a map and he can drill down to a particular level. These libraries are bundled within uiwebapp.er and mdmappservices.er, whereas uiwebapp.er will contain HiMap library and mdmappservices.er contains APIs. Now let's see how we can configure a particular chart. In order to configure, we have to make use of external links. So in provisioning tool, component editor, external links, here, customer distributed by geography. So these external links supports JavaScript code. So in order to configure a geography chart, we need to configure out the data mart. For all the chart related components, we have APIs. Those REST APIs can be used to populate the data. However, in case of customer distributed by geography, that is not the case. We need to run the data mart utility. So let's see how to configure it. So very first thing we need to do is to populate the CREPOS RPT config table with the metadata. We have the database script given under this part. So I'm, as I'm using Oracle database, so I have already copied this uh, script in my local. So I will be executing this script in the database. So these are the two table which comes into picture for chart configuration. So we need to populate this table. So as we can see, this table is empty. Let's execute the script. So 
once executed let's validate the data see the table got populated so next thing is to configure the connection and parameters so let's do that now we will be running two commands first for configuring the connection and parameters and the next is to get the data from the tables so from this location we have to execute the command java-char config so now first we need to configure the connection database connection so i am choosing option c okay one more thing uh, before configuring this just make sure whether the, all the library files are present here or not so all these four library files should be present here so let's continue with this so here asking for connection name so i will be given database connection is db yeah that's fine so default database is oracle so i'm choosing it connection type is service for me service db username so db user i have this one It's asking for password, just provide the password. Next, so we do not have any talk token. So let's enter. Please enter the host name. So here you need to provide the DB host name. Port, get the port name. Now enter the database name. In my case, it's db01. So here it is asking whether you want to finish the configuration or want to continue. So here I want now I want to configure parameter. So I will be choosing no. So now we can set report parameter. So choose option P. Enter. Now it is asking for report name. So report name we need we need to get it from this table. Uh, the report name we can get it from here. Under config, report class mappings, edit. So we are doing it for geography. So this is our report name, customer by region. So just provide the report name. Now it is asking for configuration ID. So report configuration ID, you will get it from CREPOS RPT config table. So let's check it. See, customer distribution by geography. We have row ID RPT config is three. So let's give that. Okay. So now it is asking for MART connection name. So mart connection name will be where your data mart is present. So my data mart is present in TCR hub. So I have given mart connection name as TCR hub. Now the query connection name, it would be the CMX ORS name. So CMX ORS name is TCR hub. So it is asking you whether you want to finish the configuration. So we are done with the con uh, connection and parameter configuration. So I can mention it. Yes. So it's completed now. Now we can verify whether uh, this smart population config XML got populated with the connection name and parameter name. Let's edit, the, edit this. See. So whatever configuration we have done, it is. Oh, you can see it here. So let's close this one. 
Now to get the data from the table, we need to execute the report. So let's do that. So it will be executed from the same location. So in order to get the data from the table, let's execute the report. To execute the report, execute this command java hyphen jar or exec. Okay. So it will execute this command will execute all the reports in the uh, mentioned in the XML files. So if you want to run a particular report, then uh, give a space and mention the report name it will execute only that particular report so now here i have only one report and i just want to execute it so i am running this command so now report has been executed let's verify in the database let's check the c repos rpt details table so see, it, it's populated now. The data has been populated with dimension value 1, dimension value 2, and the metric value. So these dimension value 1, 2, and metric value you can refer from the CRPOS RPT config table. So for report 3, dimension 1 is business entity type. Dimension 2 is country code state and metric value is number of customers. Now let's see in the C360 application. Let's log out and log in again. So the customer distribution by geography is enabled now. So now we can select the type. Let's say we are selecting person. Okay. So for United States of America, we have 91 customers. Okay. So see here, California, we have six people. So when we click on it in backend, it's firing search query and you will be able to see the results here as well. So that's how we populated high map. For all other charts can be configured by REST APIs. So the report details we can find from this provisioning tool guide. These are the report ID for different charts. You can check here. So we will be, con we will be executing APIs for configuring all other charts. So this is a sample API which we need to use. Okay, so I have configured it as per my environment. So we will be executing as per the reports. Let's start with the report number one. Okay, so status we can see with, with giving slash status. It takes two minutes to get completed. Once it is completed, it shows status like completed successfully. So similarly, we will be doing it for other reports. So I have executed APIs for all the reports. Now let's see in the database. Let's execute the C repos RPT config table. Here we can see it is populated with the new reports.
So now the tables are populated. Let's check in the your charts are populated or not. Let's log out and log in again. Here you can see all the charts. The charts are getting populated, got populated. So this is how using the APIs we can generate new reports. For more details, please refer S360 or C360 installation guide, provisioning tool guide, and the KV I have mentioned. We would love to hear from you. Either you can tweet us on Twitter or provide your feedback on support videos at informatica.com. Thank you for your time.